वेलकम टू शरद चंद्र क्लैट आईलेट एच एस सी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड जुलाई मंथ वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड जुलाई मंथ पार्ट टू करंट अफेयर्स इन एम सी क्यूज फॉर्म इन एम सी क्यूज फॉर्म ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी कवर टेन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन एम सी क्यूज फॉर्म सेम थिंग विल कंटिन्यू सो दिस करंट अफेयर्स विल बी यूटिलाइज फॉर IIT, IIT Humanities, IIT Humanities Social Science Entrance Exam, and IELT Exam, and also Delhi University Entrance Exams, and some other entrance exams too. So just focus on this current affairs. Then question number one: Nippon is an initiative launched by Minister of Education. It is regarding. If you see National Education Policy, National Education Policy. which was framed based on the recommendations of kasturi rangan committee kasturi rangan committee gave a series of measures to improve education quality in india why quality matters sir by some reports and if you see one ngo is there ngo pratham they conduct they will conduct every year annual status of education report in one of its report they mentioned that grade 5 student not able to read grade 2 textbook and even not able to solve basic mathematics unfortunate okay we are focusing on enrollment okay so but we are not focusing on quality so beti but a beti padao beti bajao but not focusing on what is the quality of education here so now what is important here is the nipun initiative which is a national initiative for proficiency in reading and understanding numeracy focusing on to rise fundamental literacy and numeracy okay so nipun national initiative for proficiency in reading and understanding numeracy focusing on rising rising numeracy and rising numeracy numeracy and literacy a lot and there is a target here okay it is not a A lifelong, it is not a lifelong program. There is, there are some targets too. Okay, the target is by twenty. The target is by twenty twenty six and twenty seven. By twenty twenty six and twenty seven, they should bring a complete, a complete uh, improvement in literacy and numeracy. in a grade uh, by by grade 3 section itself by grade 3 section itself so this is the a okay so by grade 3 a student should have basic understanding about numeracy and literacy so in that way they want to improve quality because you know very well that you are strong as your primary education that's the reason even indian constitution forces uh, states to follow primary education should be in mother tongue where you will have ultimate capacity to understand topics question number 2 in which city recently fast railway museum inaugurated uh, there is a mistake here the, that is uh, in which city of india okay in which city or sorry university of in india okay that is the question and uh, that is uh, recently it is in sanchi in madhya pradesh okay sanchi in madhya pradesh and uh, what is important for us is uh, apart from this kind of issue because this is may not be a possible question in our examination however we will try to understand some more for example 1853 the first railway line uh, laid down in india uh, from uh, bhori bandar to to thane okay how many kilometers 34 kilometers and there are three locomotive engines uh, engines three locomotive engines helped engines helped in this aspect so the three are the three are saheb Sultan and Sind, Sahib Sultan and Sind. These three engines helped this project. And who is the father of railways? Lord Dalhousie, who is famous for his doctrine of laps. Okay, so he, in fact, he is also the person who brought modern aviation concepts like telegraph act. He also brought post office system. Okay, and uh, he is very famous for his uh, railways too. Okay, so this is the story of. first railways museum in india in fact uh, this is not first time okay so this is not for first time for example in 1977 we had in 1977 in 1977 itself we had first railway museum in chanakyapuri in delhi in chanakyapuri in delhi 
Okay, so this is the first value of museum in Madhya Pradesh. Remember this in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, question number three, mango diplomacy, and I hope so Bangladesh. Okay, direct question Bangladesh, Bangladesh direct question. So in which uh, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina sent um, a basket of mangoes to Modi and Mamata Banerjee and all these people. Okay, so this is mango diplomacy when the Bangladesh associated with this. And why Bangladesh is important? Because it is sharing largest land boundary, 4,096 kilometers. Oh my God. Okay, 4,096 kilometers. Apart from that, the mango variety, you know, very famous in Bengal, not in Bengal, in West Bengal, that is Hari Bhanga, Hari Bhanga variety. Okay, God must be crazy. I should taste this one day. Okay, then question number four. Sparsh is an integrated system for automation of sa sanction and disbursement of. My dear, uh, this is not going to be important because sparse quite difficult to remember this uh, sparse abbreviation. But I will tell you that is a system for system for pension administration raksha. System for pension administration raksha, and this is for you can understand by this abbreviation that is defense pension. So you see, defense people will get voluntary retirement. So claims are of their pensions and uh, pending issues of their pensions, grievances can be solved through, through this sparse. So Ministry of Defense, the defense launched this. Jovenel Moise, the president of Dash, who recently assassinated. So whoever reading newspaper, whoever understanding newspaper, they can easily identify Haiti. Okay, so Haiti is the uh, country, Haiti is a country where you see a lot of uh, uh, witnessing a lot of unrest, a lot of unrest uh, uh, in this country. And uh, what, apart from that, apart from that, this is one more thing is uh, it's a first lady also severely, uh, severely uh, attacked by this uh, by the by unknown people, and uh, she is also admitted in admitted in hospital in emergency situation. Okay, so she is a Martin Mossi, and uh, she is the one. And uh, and as per the latest news, it is her condition is very serious, serious, and uh, and uh, right now she is improving a lot. I guess okay, health health condition is improving. I hope she will get back to her work soon. Okay, then uh, so what is the currency and uh, what is the currency and capital? So currency is Haitian currency is Haitian Haitian. Grod and the capital, the capital is the capital is Port of the capital is the capital is Port of Prince. Port of Prince is the capital. Okay, so that's question number five. Question number six Ramagraha Tiger Reserve located in. So, till now we have 51 Tiger Reserves. The 51th is Megamala Tiger Reserve in Tamil Nadu. Now we are going to have 52nd one and it is Ramagaha Tiger Reserve. In which state is located? It is located in Rajasthan. Okay. Remember, tiger is our national animal. So in fact, Royal Bengal Tiger is our national animal and India doing a lot for conservation of tigers. Okay. So apart from apart from this, we should understand the largest tiger reserve in India that is uh, Nagarjuna Sri Salem Tiger Reserve, smallest one is Bhor Tiger Reserve in Maharashtra and apart from that, this Ramagraha Tiger Reserve is going to create a link between Ranatambur Tiger Reserve which is very famous in Rajasthan and Mukunda Hills. Okay, so it is going to connect these two. Then question number seven, which country legalized Bitcoin recently? So El Salvador. El Salvador. So, Central Asian, Central American country and the capital is San Salvador. So just remember this name first country to legalize Bitcoin. Okay, Venezuela also had some history with cryptocurrencies that is uh, Petro. So Venezuela had a legal, a legal cryptocurrency Petro and even Facebook also had Facebook also had a legal cryptocurrency called as Libra. Okay, so remember this facts too okay then question number eight fourth july usa independence correct sixth july juno's day correct see international day of cooperatives correct all of them is correct Chalo, talia bazaar 
Now, in current affairs, you can revise different things. How? I will teach you now. Just listen. July 4th, USA Independence Day. And just revise that. USA got independence in 1776. And it defeated mighty British Empire with the help of France. And then it wrote first. It wrote first ever written constitution. And Indian constitution brought some features from USA. We can revise them. Yes, for example, written constitution, idea of preamble, idea of impeachment of president, impeachment of president like you see article 61 Indian constitution. Then we brought the process of removal, removal of Supreme Court judge and high court judge. For example, Supreme Court judge, it is article 124 class 4 and high court is article 218 okay then we brought the most important fundamental rights placed in part 3 of indian constitution from article 12 to 35 and then we also brought concept of judicial review too okay so all these things we brought from usa constitution do revise them old juno's day so genetic means diseases which transforming from animals to humans so now this year, say COVID-19, even same origin, Ebola, same origin, Zika, same origin. So what is important for us is now old focusing on this genetic diseases. So July 6th, marked as old genosis day. And this year the theme is let's break the, let's break the chain of genetic trans transmission, genetic transmission. Let's, let's break the chain of genetic transmission. Then question number three, uh, that is uh, third section, July 3 is in International Day of Cooperatives. Remember, first Saturday of July is marked as International Day of Cooperatives. It is marked by International Cooperative Alliance established in 1895, headquarters Brussels. Okay. And this year, the theme is, this year, the theme is Rebuild Better Together. Rebuild Better Together. Okay, so that's question number eight. Question number nine, which is correct about post devaluation revenue deficit grant? Try to understand. In our Indian constitution, part in your Indian constitution, part 12 from article 268 to 293 described about described about financial relations between center and state okay and you know that taxes levied by states and sometimes in center both collected and sent to the cent and sent to the center union government and these taxes will be shared between center and state governments by a constitutional body called as finance commission under article 280 okay so finance commission will share this taxes and this can be done by every five years it can be done in every five years and the president will appoint president will appoint this finance commission Right now we have 15th finance commission the third person is NK Singh NK Singh and it it mentioned that 41% share should be given from the central revenue from the central taxes okay 41% remember this data too 41% previous 14th finance commission said 42% now it said 41% share should be given okay and apart from suggesting this tax devaluation, Finance Commission also suggests some grants to meet their revenue, gra revenue gaps. Okay, states will have revenue gaps. For example, some states may not get proper funds uh, to meet their expenditure. In that way, in that way, here, in that way, here, Finance Commission will suggest some grants here. Okay, some grants here. So here what I want to suggest here is Finance Commission will suggest these grants based on the article 275 in which 
in which it's clearly mentioned that center that is parliament can give grants to states okay so to understand taxes budgeting and everything please go through 12th ncrt 12th ncrt 5th chapter government budgeting and economy in macroeconomics book in macroeconomics book if you have time in your plate go ahead or else just revise them okay so that is for the for the budget and understanding the issues so one can understand sir uh, what is what about consult fund of india okay it is article 266 where you will uh, central government uh, will give the money and this money can be drawn from the from the parliament approval okay through appropriation bill so remember these things that is separate story so post devaluation revenue deficit grants associated with the uh, to meet the revenue gap in the revenue accounts of states so monthly allocations can be done from the recommendations of finance commission remember that okay can center uh, is center is eligible to do that yes center can do based on the article 275 parliament allowed to give grants to the states question number 10 so this question so these are the persons who are in news who are in news for different reasons but then we said that that means that that means this so what we can do is we can revise modern history through this how let us see vivekananda ramakrishna mission yes he is the one man who started the ramakrishna mission apart from that he is very famous after his speech in chicago in 19, 1893 in uh, religious old religious conference then we also uh, understand that there is a magazine which completed 125th anniversary this year okay that is uh, prabuddha bharat journal okay not magazine journal so prabuddha 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 bharat journal so this is by this is by this is by swami vekananda okay swami vekananda and then and then and then pingali venkaiya by the way i would like to confirm one more thing that there is one more newspaper newspaper there is one more newspaper called as prabuddha bharat prabuddha bharat that is newspaper okay remember this if it is a journal prabuddha bharat if it is a prabuddha bharat journal it is by swami vivekananda if it is newspaper it is by b r ambedkar okay remember this then pingal venkaiya national bank it is true okay in the year 1921 he designed it so recently we celebrated his birth his birth anniversary sorry his death anniversary too then we have allur sitaraman also birth anniversary on july 4th okay so allur sitaraman also launched this rampa rebellion in the year 1922 where same side uh, around the india we are having non cooperation movement so non cooperation movement uh, launched in 1920 in in nagpur session i mean they decided to launch this in nagpur session they launched this in allahabad session in allahabad session of congress okay apart from that i would like to confirm that to read about non cooperation movement please refer 10th ncrt history chapter number 3 where you will get good information regarding non cooperation movement okay so the idea of non cooperation movement came from the book written in 1908 the hind swaraj written by gandhi ji okay refer this chapter you will get better clarity in fact okay so then prime minister gujaratnanda so acting first acting prime minister so he is also we have celebrated his birth anniversary recently so all the above is correct and this completes us part 2 so do revise and uh, please uh, subscribe and also share this uh, channel to other friends who are preparing for this exams all the very best and thank you and jai hind